If your product tankers are like most today, they use submersible pumps to eliminate the pump room. That's great for your business because it means your tankers have more space for money-making cargo. But when you add a ballast water treatment system, your submersible ballast pumps may have difficulty coping. With no space below deck, the treatment system has to be installed above deck, and that means pumping water higher than your pump's design intended. With too much pressure drop across the ballast water treatment system, there may not be enough pressure for filter back flushing. And if the filter isn't back flushed efficiently, the result can be reduced ballast water flow, or even worse, clogging and treatment system shutdown. That can mean more time in port, insufficient time to offload cargo, or ballast water non-compliance. All expensive propositions. So what's the answer? Should you modify the perfectly working pumping system on board? simply to accommodate a new system on deck? It all seems a little complicated. So choose a simpler path instead, a total solution with Alpha Laval Pure Ballast 3. Today, there's a fully developed Pure Ballast 3 EX solution for product tankers. Pre-installed within a deck house, it comprises the treatment system, a booster pump unit, and VFD control, which is managed by the Pure Ballast system itself. The booster pump unit creates the extra push needed to ensure back flushing pressure. This optimizes the treatment system's performance, securing uptime and compliance even in challenging waters. But it's done within the ballast water treatment system and only when it's needed. With the Alpha Laval booster pump solution, your existing ballast pumps are completely unaffected. You can be compliant, but go on loading and unloading just as you always have and making money in the process. To learn more about Alpha Laval's total solutions in ballast water treatment, visit the Pure Ballast website.